Today, I'm gonna to be walking you step-by-step step through how to set up Google Authenticator on your mobile devices for two-factor authentication. Let's get this done. Welcome to All Things Secured. My name's Josh, and this is Tech Tip Tuesday, a segment of this channel where I walk you through the most important steps that you can take in five minutes or less to increase your security and privacy. What I'm gonna be showing you today, I'm gonna to show you on my iPad, but this can be done on any tablet or phone, whether that's your, your iPad, your iPhone, or even an Android device. It's gonna look exactly the same, so don't worry if you're not doing it on the exact same device that I am. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna go into my app store here, and I wanna look for an authenticator. Now, what you're gonna find is there are a number of authenticators to choose from. Microsoft has an authenticator, LastPass, there's just an authenticator app, but I recommend Google's authenticator because it's the standard for Google app, for any authenticator app. Once you've downloaded it, click on open, and you're gonna see it's a very simple app. It's not very complicated. If I click on the begin setup, you're gonna see that it asks me to either scan a barcode or manually enter a code. And this is where we need to go into one of our accounts. And in this example, I wanna show you how I would do this for Facebook. Because I've already done an entire video on how to set up your privacy on Facebook, which you can watch here. But let's go ahead, if I go into my account, I'm gonna go into settings and privacy, click on settings, and then we're gonna look for security and login. Once you get to this point, scroll down to the two-factor authentication, and we're gonna click edit. Now, there are a number of ways that you can set up two-factor authentication. You can use SMS text me. Uh, this is something that I don't recommend, though. I highly recommend you either use an authenticator app like Google Authenticator, or if you wanna use a key like YubiKey or the Titan Security Key, those are also really good options. If I wanna set up the authenticator app, you're gonna see here I can click on Use Authentication App and it's gonna come up with what's known as a QR code. That's those boxes that have a lot of different um, just ways that it sets. I don't know how you describe a QR code, but you click on scan barcode here with my iPad, and I am going to scan that barcode. What you're gonna see here on my iPad is that I've got a six digit number. This six digit number refreshes every 20 seconds. And that means that I can show you this number and it doesn't really pose a security risk to me right now because that's gonna change every time and you can try to use this if you want to hack into my account, but it's not gonna work. So how would this work in real life? Let's say I wanted to log into Facebook. When I do, when I log into Facebook after I've already logged out and I enter in my password and my username, uh, it's also going to ask for that second level of authentication, that two-factor authentication. And for me, as we've already done this setup, that's gonna come from my Google Authenticator app. So I'm gonna open up the Authenticator app. And this is, just for a note, one of the reasons why I would rather have this on my phone than my iPad, because I always have my phone with me. I don't always have my iPad right next to me. So if you're thinking about where you should download and install the Google Authenticator app, I recommend you do it on your phone and not your iPad or some device that's not always with you. So when I enter in, when, I, when it asks me for that code, I'm gonna open up the authenticator, and as you see here, it says 019970. I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in, 970, and click enter, and now Facebook's going to let me in. I have proven that I am who I say I am, and now I have access to my Facebook account. It's really that easy. And the great thing about the Google Authenticator app, or any Authenticator app for that matter, is that you can have a number of different logins. So on my phone, this Google Authenticator app actually has eight different codes that are being shown at the same time, and I just need to scroll through and find the right one and enter that code in when I'm asked for the code. Now what that means is you can use it for Facebook, you can use it for Twitter, your investment accounts, uh, anything that allows for two-factor authentication using an authentication app, you should definitely do that. And that's what is going to be shown when you open up your Authenticator app. Now, if you want other great tips like this for tech, you can look at this playlist that we have here. Any questions that you have about the Google Authenticator app can be left in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.